Yet another train derailment. We've got some uh, first visuals of uh, that accident. Uh, this is where it's uh, happened. The train has derailed. Seven coaches of the Shakti Punj Express have derailed in uh, Sonbhadra district of Uttar Pradesh. This is near Obra. These are the first visuals of uh, the accidents that, that has taken place. Luckily, so far, we're hearing that there have been no injuries in this uh, particular case. But these are the first visuals coming in on that third train derailment in Uttar Pradesh. Now this uh, is the first such incident since uh, Mr. Piyush Goel has taken charge of the Indian Railways as the new Railways Minister. He is relieved uh, Suresh Prabhu who came under fire for uh, the different and uh, the various uh, accidents that have taken place. Uh, this one itself, the third in a month to have hit Uttar Pradesh. There have been others. In fact, uh, the Kefiat Express has uh, derailed in the past month. The Utkal Express has derailed as well. There have been injuries. There have also been, unfortunately, deaths. Luckily, in this instance, uh, right now, in these first visuals that we're showing you, we're still getting details on uh, the exact uh, reason behind what exactly went wrong. Uh, by the looks of it, it is a, a derailment once again. Thankfully, no injuries have been reported so far. Now, uh, this is, uh, we've gotten you access to the first visuals from uh, the incident site. Mr. Dinesh uh, Trivedi, the former railway minister, joins us on the phone line uh, for more. Uh, sir, good morning. Thanks very much for speaking with us here at Beyond. This is the third such incident in Uttar Pradesh over the past month. What do you reckon is going wrong? When recently a derailment took place, I had told the media that again there is going to be a derailment. Again you are going to take a phone or an interview of mine. This will not stop because you have not understood the ailment of the railway. You are treating at a wrong place. Please understand the basic infrastructure of the railway has been shaken up. And you have used railway too much for politics and for your ego issues. I don't think so they can change it the way they are approaching towards the solution. I can only feel sorry for the people who are dead and, and their families. And I can tell you, I have written articles after articles and I'm fed up of it. And I think the blame has to be settled somewhere. And I said, change of minister will not help. The change of approach has to be there. And unfortunately, nobody has understood the approach. So what is the problem? You referenced... The problem, uh... I told you, the basic infrastructure, you have to understand. Railways, you know, the railway definition is a commercial organization. It still says it's a commercial organization. It is still the colonial definition of the railways. Railways cannot be a commercial organization. It has to be a basic infrastructure organization. The way you treat the port, the highways, you have to treat the railways like that. And I, they have not understood and now it's making me sad and angry both. I would not travel by railways. Right, sir. If I can ask you also, you said that uh, a change in uh, guard as far as the ministry goes doesn't make uh, much of a difference. Uh, and I suppose you're referencing the fact that Piyush Goel has now taken over as the railways minister. Uh, but if it's not going to be a change of guard, uh, who do you think and what exactly, in your opinion, is going to be uh, the change that is, uh, you know, going? who's going to necessitate or, or, or get that change going if uh, it's not going to be a change in ministry? What exactly you needs... Piyush is a very efficient person. I'm absolutely certain he will go deep down into the cause, but it's going to take time. He cannot have a magic, but he has to understand. Do they ever talk to, I mean, do they ever talk to people who understand railway a little? 
have they ever come back uh, have they ever looked into my articles have they ever said that dinesh trivedi we read your article please tell us what do you think about it they are too egoistic very egoistic you it can't be run like this i'm sorry the country belongs to all of us not belong to a individual or a party and i have always said that let's have a national consensus on the indian railways like we have on defense and foreign affairs railway is our property it is every day people have to travel there should not be a single death on the tracks not one death if need be stop the railways for few days if you are not sure i did that when i was minister i stopped few lines because they were not safe i said always consider as if you are traveling your son is traveling your daughter is traveling would you would you let them be exposed to such a risk every day 12 people die in mumbai railways every single day and we are talking about chandrayaan so we spoke with a, a former a member of the indian railway board and he said something very interesting he said that the people who are doing their jobs know exactly what they have to do but they are under immense pressure and he was referring to uh, people who are working in the railways day on day would you agree that the pressure is too much that the size of the force is not enough to deal with the pressures of uh, the number of commuters we have the number of lines no, we have no, in this country no 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 i don't agree with that because the thing is if there is a pressure you should withstand the pressure and the railway board member should say that sorry sir i can't do this this is not safe where is the backbone would they let their family travel by such thing uh, earlier derailment i don't know about this derailment earlier derailment was a murder and somebody should be charged for murder because the railway that the the, the track was taken away and they did not give the block time they did not stop the trains from running what are we talking about we are are we a banana republic somebody has to file an fir for murder for the previous derailment it was a murder you knew that the track has been taken away but in spite of that you ran the trains and the loco pilot did not know that the speed has to be reduced there are red light signals where were the signals so it has to be a collective responsibility Sir, also, do you think that as a nation we are very reactive? That we uh, we're not proactive when no, it comes but, to these uh, things? Absolutely, because you have you have called me. I have reacted again. God forbid, there is some uh, railway accident again. I react. I have stopped going to TV because I am fed up. I know the ailment. I know the problems. This can be sorted out. I can tell you also that this can be sorted out. It is not something which we can't sort it out because we are brainy people. railway still is the best organization in the world but we need to understand the approach you need a you need a leader who will take responsibility what's the first And thing who, that needs to be done sir are the first thing you have to understand the cause what the, what is the first thing a doctor understands the diagnosis then only the treatment can come if there is a if there is a cancer in the stomach you don't treat the years a symptomatic treatment will not help you have to go deep down to the cancer what is happening just now it could happen again tomorrow let me tell you very honestly i would not travel by a night train simple as that i have no hesitation in telling it's come to that stage it is scary to travel by train and that's why passengers are going by volvo bus they are going by budget airlines right number of passengers have come down how how do how do you, i mean this is giving a black spot and railway still i am telling you is the best brains are there with the railway we can fix it i can tell you we can fix it within a years time we can fix the infrastructure it's going to take a while but we can do it okay, we sir. certainly can do it thanks very much uh, sir for speaking with us uh, here on uh, we on i hope i don't have to speak to you again on an incident uh, such as this uh, once again but uh, that's how it things stand uh, mr dinesh trivedi uh, calling a spade a spade saying that it is uh, a big problem one that uh, requires uh, an entire change in terms of the way it's being addressed he says that uh, it's uh, symptomatic of a larger malaise until the time uh, the diagnosis of the ailment that is uh, co being caused to the indian railways isn't done not much is going to change on the ground